just wanted to show you the aesthetic because I think it's a very cute aesthetic. Like, look at how pretty this is. But it's another day in the life. Um, I've already had two classes so far. Um, I have another class later on today. But before that, I'm going to eat some breakfast and I'm going to go to the gym with my friend. She's going to meet up with me there, so that's going to be pretty nice. And this is kind of different. Okay, I just realized a lot is going on today. There's like construction out here. I have no idea what they're actually working on. But yeah, construction's happening. Um, so yeah, and I heard like a loud noise. That's why I was like, hmm, what's going on? But yeah, pretty much that's the itinerary for today. Just classes. Um, I've already done homework, like tons of homework. I had like a thousand word essay that I did like two days ago. And that was really like, it wasn't super stressful because I knew I could do it, but it was kind of like annoying. But you know, it's been a busy week, just this week alone. Like it's been very busy, but that's kind of what's going on today. And there's like a lot of noises. I'm like trying to figure out what's going on. But either way, that's what's going on. I think I'm going to get me some breakfast right now. I'm trying out a new cereal. Um, well, actually I've already tried it, but it's very good. It's a new cereal that I usually never get. And it's pretty much granola. Um, and banana it's really good and I eat it with almond milk so that's what's been happening and I've also been to the grocery store quite a few times this week also that's something else that's been happening um we go into the grocery store all the time okay so I have my water here um, I'm going to grab my almond milk because it's so good with cereal you guys probably already have seen this before but this is the one I use and my cereal I actually bought two cereals from the grocery store. Um, this is my holy grail. I always get this, but this one is the this is the new one that I've been trying, and it's very good. I really like it. It's very nice to switch things up every once in a while. Yummy. And I'm also going to eat this protein bar with it. And I actually brought these with me from America. I have like maybe four more left. And the funny thing is I brought so many like cliff bars with me. Um, when I first got here to, um, when I first got to Rome, I brought so many cliff bars with me that my mom had gotten me. And they're all gone. Like I've been eating them, which is very good, but they're all gone. So I have this Elevation brand and they're good. Um, it's a chocolate peanut butter version. And I'm going to eat that with my cereal. So I am now in the elevator, about to go to the gym, and I'm very excited because yesterday I did go to the gym, and it was very nice. It was more of an introductory workout. I mean, my arms are a little bit sore, but I pretty much just used the leg press. I used the vertical traction machine. Um, I used the shoulder machine. I forgot the exact thing that it's called. And why does it look like it's about to rain on the ground? Just on this floor, because when I looked outside, it didn't look like it was going to rain, so... Hopefully it doesn't rain because yesterday I got poured on like rain all over me like I did not have an umbrella with me. Ciao! Um, but yeah, I um, hope it doesn't rain because I really, that would just be really unfortunate. It looks like it possibly could rain. Like what does it look like to you guys? This is not as overcast as it could look. I mean it definitely could look worse storming wise like if it really was about to storm it could look worse um but i honestly have no idea if it's gonna rain or not because the weather app doesn't say that it's gonna rain today and yesterday the weather app did say that it was gonna rain and i just didn't bring my umbrella so we'll see what happens hopefully it doesn't rain because that was just the worst yesterday like running in the rain like literally i kid you not i ran so quickly from the bus stop to my apartment it was very very annoying but yeah, we are on our way to the gym now. And guys, there's literally so much construction like near my apartment that's randomly happening. Like every single day there's something new going on construction wise here. Yeah. Guys, this is decorated Christmas. Oh my gosh, Christmas themed. But that's actually Mechanismo. If you guys watched my vlogs in the beginning, I used to go there all the time with some friends. And they're actually decorated for Christmas time. So it makes sense why they're decorated for Christmas because it's an American restaurant. Like they sell American stuff. Okay guys, so I'm about to get on the horizontal adjustable leg press and I'm going to set this to 100 pounds. This is what I used yesterday and it was fine. Um, you can show them. I'm not lying guys. I'm doing 100. 
I don't know if that's a lot to you guys, but it took a lot for me, the hundred right there. It's in kilograms. <laughs> kilograms, not pounds. Oh yeah, probably not a hundred pounds. That's like more than me. Oh, what the? What in the world? Why is this not moving? It was moving yesterday. Oh, okay. God, I was not used to it. I had to switch it to 90. Okay, you guys can see. Okay, I'm not gonna cheat you guys out. It's 90. I don't know what was going on at first, why I was not used to it, but it definitely takes me some time to work up to it. Like, I usually do a few reps of this. Sometimes I used to go like at home, 10 minutes for this with 115 pounds, but my legs, they're not the same because this is like only my second time going back to the gym uh, since I've been here, so <laughs> very intense. I don't know how long I'll do this for, but I'm gonna come back to this, but I'm gonna show you guys. Okay, that was loud, louder than necessary. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys what I also do. So, I also have to clean it first, so let's see. There's like no sanitizer here, so I have to find this way. But, let's not make a mess in the gym. I don't want to get kicked out for acting crazy. But yeah, so, it's all clean, it's perfect. And now I'm gonna use the other one I like to use. Vertical traction. It's actually called lateral pull down at the other gym that I used to go to because I've only been to two gyms really um, ever in my life that I've gone to consistently. The one at my home, like my neighborhood, and then my school gym, my college gym here. But I'm gonna switch this to 20 pounds because arms are not as strong as my legs for sure. This thing is pretty tall. And my legs are actually still, ooh, that feels very light. Did something happen last night? Because, okay, I want to switch it to 30. I want to switch it to 30. Okay, this feels better. Yesterday I was doing 20 and my arms were sore, but I usually do like a few reps of 10 with this. I didn't start counting, but we'll start counting now. But yeah, that's pretty much what I do for arms. And pretty much like my goal is just to have a tone body. Like, that's pretty much it. Like, I just want tone. Like, I'm not really worried about weight per se. Just having a tone body. And then, what I usually do, like, at my home gym or other gyms is use a stair climber. But since I only have the treadmill right now, I'm just going to start it and put the incline. And that was pretty loud. I'm going to put the incline. I'm going to put the incline to 15. It's pretty loud. I'm going to put the incline to 15. I don't really go like super, super fast on this. And actually I'm gonna switch my hair a bit. But I don't really go super fast on this because it's not about, for me, it's not about losing weight. It's about building muscle. So I've noticed it helps to tone my body in general when I do. So I don't have to go super fast. I just go reasonable pace. Like I'm not running basically. and. Now it's on 15% and this is the incline I want. So that's kind of like what I've been doing. Like I might start doing other things like as I continue going to this gym, but for now that's what I'm doing. It's just like introductory stuff. Hey guys, so I am at the big boy section. That's what I call it for now. Um, I'm not lifting any of this. I just wanted to show you the aesthetic because I think it's a very cute aesthetic. Like, I don't know. I feel like the pop of color with this background, I don't know. It's the little things, but I'm about to actually do some more intense workouts, like actual reps, because I haven't done any actual reps yet. I just did like the practice of like what I like do. Like that's the only thing I've shown you guys, but I haven't actually started actually like seriously working out. So I actually need to start working out right now. So that's probably what I'm gonna do like right now. Guys, I just found out I'm actually lifting much more than I thought I was. So I know what I feel. So like I know what feels comfortable. So I'm actually lifting 66 pounds, like the reps I'm doing right now on the 
vertical traction is actually 66 pounds. Like, my friend was like, I think it's kilograms because we're in Europe, so, you know, they use kilograms here. The kilograms, which is 2.2 pounds, like, American, like, what Americans use, like, for weight. Um, yeah, it's 2.2 pounds, and, like, here, it's kilograms. So I think that's so cool because I'm literally lifting... I'm not lifting as little as I thought I was. At first, I was kind of feeling a little bad. I'm like, I'm only lifting 30 pounds, like, but I'm actually lifting 66, like, on this machine. And then over there, like, when I tried using 100 and I was kind of, like, shook, it was actually, like, 200 pounds. 200 pounds of weight. And I did for, like, five minutes straight. I was, like, on the leg press just now, and I was doing 90. So that's like 180, and that's more than what I would usually do at home. So I don't know what's going on, but I also think because I've been doing so much walking in Rome, my legs are naturally building more muscle, but that's actually so cool. Like, I didn't realize I was really, like, lifting that much. Like, at this point, call me a bodybuilder. <laughs> Okay guys, so walking back from the gym and that was such a power packed workout, like literally, I was lifting so much, like I'm sore already, like literally, what you guys saw in the beginning, that was nothing compared to what I actually did, like I did 9 reps of 10 with 66 pounds of weight on my arms and like this light is like flickering, so I, I apologize for that, but yeah, I did like 66 pounds on my arms. I'm um, using the vertical traction machine, nine reps of 10. And then on my legs, I did 10 minutes on the leg press. Just, I didn't really do reps on that. I don't ever really do reps on that. I just keep going, keep going. Like as the time goes on, I just keep going. And that I can feel already like on my legs for 10 minutes. Um, specifically, I was using 180 pounds of weight, surprisingly. So um, yeah, that was a lot. Actually, now that I think about it, when I got back on the second time, because I split it half and half, like five minutes here, five minutes there, um, I think someone has switched it to 70 pounds of weight, which is still a lot, 140 pounds. Well, it was, se it was 70 kilograms, which is 140 pounds of weight. And so I think that's what I did for the last half, actually. But nonetheless, I had a very power-packed workout, and now I'm headed to my apartment. Guys, on my walk home, look at how pretty this is. This is so beautiful, I love it. Walking back and it still looks so beautiful. It's the same place I was recording earlier. I love it, I love it so much. Christmas time is here. Oh my gosh, guys, the place that I love getting sushi from, Koi Sushi, they're all decorated for Christmas. Oh my gosh, literally, I have to come back like I've been meaning to try their all-you-can-eat sushi because the first time I came here, actually, I went with a bunch of people, and we ended up just, we kept having the sushi coming, like all of us, we kept saying, another one, another one, and so I got like shrimp tempura, I got this mango sushi, I just kept getting so many different sushi rolls, so I feel like if I get the all-you-can-eat one, it's like cheaper that way because they charge like five euro per sushi roll, so if I get all-you-can-eat, it's going to be a blast, but... I'm on my way now to my apartment, and that's pretty much how my day has gone. Classes, gym, and then I'm gonna make dinner when I get home, so that should be fun. Okay, so I'm about to cook my dinner, and you guys might be wondering why it's so dark in the kitchen right now, but basically, for some reason, like, the light, it's, like, not working properly. Like, apparently, like, the gas was fixed on today, but now, like, the light is like that right now, and it's not getting any brighter, so that's kind of annoying, but I'm about to actually put some food on the stove, salmon, and then I'm just going to make salad today, like, a very big salad after. These are my ingredients for now. Um, olive oil to start and then I'm going to use this to like um, add flavor to the salmon like the seasoning and the sauce for it and then this is the salmon it's called North King I believe and the uh, fire started for that okay so my pan is ready now there's a little bit of steam coming from it so I know it's ready okay so this is what it looks like before seasoning also I do want to make a note that this is a different sauce that I usually um than I usually use I usually use sriracha chili, but this is a plain, plain roasted paprika, and it's very good. It's very similar, but slightly different. It's not as spicy, I feel like, but it's still very good. Like, I really like it. 
So this is what it's looking like right now. It's looking very good, just like how I like it. Okay, so the salmon is ready and I'm gonna prepare the salad after because the salad is actually really big. So this is enough for one plate and then I'm going to make the salad after. So this is my salad. It's very big, that's why I didn't wanna put it on the same plate as the salmon, but um, I have feta cheese in it, tomatoes, olives, and is there anything else? Oh, something else I forgot to add was balsamic vinegar and olive oil, but I will add that after. But um, that's pretty much it for today. Like that's pretty much it. Like there's nothing else happening today.